Hello, this is John Stewart speaking to you about my new descaler, the SM5000. 5000 5, meaning 5000 milliamps or 5 amps. And that's the maximum current that this uh, device will put out. That's an average of 5 amps, meaning that the peaks will go up to as many as 20 amps. This is the waveform on the oscilloscope. Uh, it's also it's generating uh, high frequencies that I can pick up on an AM radio. Extending deeply, deeply into any large pipe. Uh, and this is just using a dummy load, dummy load of a 12 volt uh, automobile light running at around 3 amps average. When you modulate a signal, you don't get the full current. You have to dumb it down a little bit in order to be able to increase it uh, to accomplish the modulation. And on the oscilloscope is showing this particular program run by a microcomputer uh, on this side. And this is the, the and it changes the sequence will change shortly. Now that's the other, the analog linear modulation. You'll see it's a, it's like a warble tone, and within each pulse there are sub pulses to give a very wide range of frequencies on the oscilloscope. And I'll go back. That back to the microcomputer program. Now if I turn it off. And instead of the dummy load of the light bulb, automobile light bulb, just to indicate that it's working. And, then it's, and this is actually very hot. I can hardly touch it because of the power that's going through uh, this device into the light bulb. Now if I connect up the coil that you, the customer, will wrap around your pipe, the 50 foot, I now have a 50 foot uh, coil of wire here. If I turn it on. You don't, uh, I can actually feel on a magnet the vibration. You can actually see it vibrating. Uh, let me take this off. It's vibrating with the vibrational signals. So it's a very powerful signal going through. Now if I, if I detect it with the radio, which I give as a free detector, it's picking up the signal from the coil that is wound around your pipe. And then, and then a linear modulation, high frequency modulated, modulation within modulation. So the field, the magnetic field, extends very deeply into the largest of pipes. Of course, I do have bigger, more powerful unit. This is only 5 amps average. I can go up to 15 and 20 amps for the largest pipes. And uh, we're only running a, a 12 volt transformer at about 3 amps. It's about 36, less than 40 watts. So this does get a little warm, but no warmer than a 40 watt light bulb. Likewise, the coil will get a little warm, but no warmer than a 40 watt light bulb. So thank you for watching and we'll see you again. <clears throat>